Yorch from Trainia posted on. Yorch from Trainia posted on. Yorch from Trainia posted on his personal Instagram that Trainia has disbanded. Big Hit Entertainment released a statement last week that the rookie boy group Trainia will stop all social media promotions. Some fans of the group were already suspecting something fishy while some thought the group was about to debut. Little did they know the group will disband. Trainia fans are so angry at Big Hit Music for disappointing the boys. Yorch wrote on his Instagram. Hello everyone. This is Yorch I'm so sorry to announce to you that the project has ended and would like to thank everyone that has supported us till the very end and has brought us good memories as we are going into a new phase of our life please support us as you have always done. Thank you. This was his gratitude and apology he shared with their fans all over the world. This was the big hit music statement released. Hello everyone this is Trainee A production team we would like to let you know all of Trainee A social media channels ended. Trainee A social media accounts including YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, we close on December 23, 2022. We thank all of you that have shown nothing but love to train EA all this while we hope you keep supporting them in all their endeavor. I guess Leo saw this coming that was why he left the, the group early it's sad the group disbanded I feel sorry for them. Imagine training so hard for so long being disbanded. I hope the boys are okay. These were what some netizens thought about the whole situation. Bong Tan B wrote, it's shocking cause they had so much potential. Their hip-hop dancing skills were high level for idols. They could have been big like big. Any Young and Young wrote, If I were their fan I'd feel used by the company, TBH. No official information, no explanation, just a short notice about closing the social media accounts, that's it. The company makes it harder for their future trainees to gain fans trust, and supporting them will be worth the fans time. Slut Pink wrote, Trainees have a 50-50 chance of either making it to debut or not. That's a risk you should know as a K-pop fan. If you, despite being fully aware of this risk, still decide to full-on stand them already, then that's solely on you. And if you feel used by the company for not owing you a proper explanation, then that's your problem. Samsa Smooth wrote, I didn't follow them, but I did occasionally observe them and take notice of their incredible talents. What was the cause of their dissolution? They appeared to have gotten ahead of themselves and were extremely haughty, and I noted numerous controversies. Perhaps because of previous issues with glam and overly pompous artists, they are more likely to be modest artists now. Pride is a descriptor, not a description of a merely curious person. Pisces 97 wrote, Yorch had to come out and say it cause Big Hit was so vague and wouldn't tell us the truth. NQ16 wrote, I still think they'll debut. Maybe they're just saying Trainee A is ending and they're not going to debut with the name Trainee A and Quat. Maybe there's a new group name in the works. It would be strange to put in all this effort training them, hyping them up, and not doing anything with them. Randomly ending the project without any explanation just seems strange. Betula wrote, Well, perhaps the project was just not coming together, so even though it's disappointing, I can understand their decision to disband the group. Better than making a bad debut with a group that would subsequently be criticized by everyone. But they really ought to have explained this to fans much more clearly. Everyday Jiayu wrote, That's very depressing. This serves as a reminder that the music business is purely commercial, and that a firm ultimately has the power to make or break prospective project groups, regardless of the length of training the participants have already received. I'm hoping that these lads can keep pursuing their goals in different fields. Archa502 wrote, I don't understand why businesses nowadays would advertise a bunch of trainees so long before their official debut. I comprehend that they want to gauge the audience's response and the trainees' tolerance for criticism. But after that, the appeal of witnessing a brand new, bright ensemble make their debut kind of fades away. Maybe it's just me, though. That's disappointing, but I suppose that's the way things are. You build up support for this pre-debut group, then they abandon the project. Hooney Bunny wrote, Given that they had already encountered some minor problems and attracted unfavorable public attention before even making their debut, I don't believe the news is all that shocking. I doubt that the Korean audience would have embraced them if they had made their debut. The way Big Hit handled the guys throughout the entire process is still extremely upsetting for them and egregiously inappropriate. My faith in Big Hit is eroding daily. For anyone who doesn't know what I'm talking about, the K-pop group 17 spent approximately two years making videos and doing live streaming before their official TV show announced their debut. This organization was going for a similar atmosphere. Companies do not waste time, money, or resources by hiring a team to manage social media accounts, let alone a YouTube channel for a group of trainees who won't be debuting or who aren't in the official debut lineup. This is especially true for well-known companies like this one or any of the big three. They would never take that risk because they know that eventually, people will learn about them, become interested in them, and become fans before the official debut. It's not unheard of for companies to want to have groups that, again, aren't technically official but the company knows that they're going to debut the group of people together to garner fans and fame. If they wanted to be particularly nice, they could have sat there and asked the fans to support them as they traveled in other directions. Companies do stuff like that all the time. Thanks for watching.